आजको यो समयमा फेरि पनि हामी तपाईँको वचन बाइबल स्टडीमा छौँ प्रभु अनि तपाईँको छोरालाई अनि राजु ब्रदरलाई सहायता गर्नुहोस् उहाँले बताउनु खोज्नु भएको बुझाउनु चाहनु भएको सही तरिकाबाट बोल्नुको निम्ति हरूलाई पनि प्रभु हाम्रो ती कुराहरू दिनुहोस् तपाईँको ज्ञान बुद्धि बुझ्नुको निम्ति हामी प्रत्येकलाई सहायता गर्नु भएको होस् भनिकन म प्रार्थना गर्दछु सुरुदेखि अन्तिमसम्म प्रभु तपाईँको उपस्थिति चाहन्छ तपाईँ हाम्रो माझमा गइदिनुहोस् धन्यवाद छ यीशु प्रभुको नाममा हामेन 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 थ्याङ्क यू सो भेरी गुड इभिनिङ टु अल डि ब्रदर्स एन्ड सिस्टर्स इन क्राइस्ट वी थ्याङ्क आवर हेवनली फादर एन्ड द लर्ड एन्ड सेभर जिजस क्राइस्ट फर गिभिङ दिस वन्डरफुल अपर्चुनिटी टु स्टडी हिज वन्डरफुल वर्ड्स अफ लाइफ सो सिन्स लास्ट फ्यू विक्स वी बिन स्टडिङ अबाउट द सिक्स वोल्युम द सन ड्राइ अर्थली पब्लिकेसन्स अफ न्यू क्रिएसन च्याप्टर फोर्टिन इन दट वन वी स हाउ the god's children should provide honest things in the sight of all men and the the next thing we saw is that uh, how we should not uh, owe uh, anything to any man so god should uh, children uh, if uh, they are really faithful they will be always lenders uh, not borrowers so what is the advice that uh, you see brother russell gives us uh, last time we studied uh, so uh i had sent you a link also <coughs> of uh, uh, the questions uh, that usually uh, are mentioned uh, uh, in this uh, you see uh, volumes uh, i hope uh, you were all uh, you see benefiting out of it so in that one uh, we see that uh, what is the advice uh, which uh, uh, god's uh, gives to the new creation uh, how should we be Uh, living within our li- uh, means uh, uh one minute uh, okay so okay so uh so what is the divine injection with respect to indebtedness as expressed by apostle paul can anybody answer this question any possibility anybody can try uh brother could you please repeat the question once again okay uh, i'm sharing on the screen also is my sh- screen uh, visible to everybody yes brother yes okay so the question is one minute i'll tell you how does it come so after each paragraph follows a question okay mm-hmm. So, so what is the divine injection with respect to indebtedness as expressed by apostle paul in romans 13:8 okay so any idea anyone well, wants to try to give answer if not okay, all possible also not a issue not a issue okay brother i will try to explain them in nepali in a question romi 13 ko 8 ma bhani jasto aru kunai kunai pani kura ma rini na ho ab yo rini le ke ke kura समेट्छ अथवा के के कुरालाई एक्सप्रेस गर्छ हामीले यो बारेमा धेरै छलफल गरिसकेका छौँ ल अब प्रत्येकले एउटा एउटा कुरा भन्नु हुन्छ जोएल रोमी तेह्रको आठले अरू कुनै पनि कुरामा ऋणी न हो यो ऋणीले अथवा चाहिँ ऋणी हुनुले के के कुरा ऋणी हुने जनाउँछ ल भन्नु त इङ्ग्लिसमै भनिदिनु भए पनि हुन्छ एन्सर जोएल अथवा यो ऋणी हुने सम्बन्धमा चाहिँ परमेश्वरले हामी नयाँ सृष्टिहरूलाई दिनुभएको आज्ञा अथवा चाहिँ दिव्य उपदेश के हो त जो ल नेपालीमै भन् भनिदिनु भए पनि हुन्छ ल भन्नु त रोमी तेह्रको आठ कहिलेसम्म हामीले दुई तिन हप्ता यत्रो व्याख्या सुनिसकेका छौँ के बुझ्नु भएको छ त जो ल जे बुझेछ त्यही भन्नु त ओके नट इज no problem uh, so we'll try to you see uh, just a little bit of things we'll just uh, uh, revise it so the divine injection first of all the god's advice is that uh, if we are uh, faithful to god uh, definitely god would uh, you see uh, help us and guide us uh, as per his divine wisdom uh, how to uh, manage our uh, earthly uh, life uh, you see so that's what is mentioned in deuteronomy 156 that's what we read and uh, 
and the next uh, thing, next paragraph, uh, what we studied last week was that uh, uh, what should be the rule of every member of news creation uh, as respect to money matters? Uh, the meaning of this one is, the meaning of this question is that uh, as new creatures, uh, how should we manage our money matters? So, any idea what we studied last week? Anybody? Uh, okay, brother, uh, uh, sister Munna. Munna, sister, can you try to answer? It's not necessary that you should be answering exactly from the volume. So, if you have some thoughts in your mind, we can express also, not an issue. Or else, whatever you learned from past week, if you have something in mind, even those things you can express, not an issue. Uh, we should maintain our expenditure uh, according with our income. Oh, very good, sir. That's the main point uh, we learn from this paragraph. Uh, that means, uh, as God's children, we need to try to live within our expenses. Uh, so, whatever is the income, we should try to maintain within the income. So, what in case uh, uh, if our income is... Uh, uh, less than our expenditure. That means, uh, what in case if our expenditure is more than our income? What we should do at that time? Uh, Romy, sister, can you try to answer? Can you uh, repeat one? Okay. Please, the question brother? is that here, Brother Russell gives advice that we should try to live within our expenses, uh, within our income, sorry. So, our yes. expenses should be within income. our yes. income. But what in case if our expenses exceed our income? What is the advice? We make the budget and uh, try to uh, find out where is unnecessary expenses happening and cut that all out. Okay, that's a good thought. So, as new creatures, if we were uh, uh, expendituring uh, expenses more than our income, uh, as new creatures, uh, we need to try to scrutinize it and try to curtail it. That's a very good thought. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> what is the next advice that the Brother Russell gives in the volume? What is the advice? Amar Brother, can you try to answer? What is the advice which we studied last week, which our Brother Russell tries to give in this paragraph? <laughs> I, I given a clue also. I even highlighted on the screen. What is the answer? You, you would would you like to try, Amar brother, to answer? waiting patiently on the Lord for such relief. Yeah. We have to wait uh, on, yeah. We have to wait patiently mm. and give thanks for Good. So, until the uh, uh, Lord improves uh, our, uh, you see, uh, life, uh, we need to uh, remain calm. You see, we need to uh, trust in the Lord that our situation might get better. Uh, so, until this is time, uh, we need to wait on the Lord. But is there possibility that uh, God may improve our situ situation? Anybody, anybody can answer. Is there possibility that if we are waiting on the Lord, if we are faithful, will God improve our situation? Anyone? Anyone wants to answer? Joel, Emily, did you think I got nobody read the Bible and put on a car? But I know. Permission, I'm Rob Stars, I'm not going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the example of Joel. Joel, 
हामीले दाउदको विषयमा हेरेको दानियल मा हेरेको थियो दानियल दानियलको पुस्तकमा चाहिँ योसेफको विषयमा लेखेको थियो उसले चाहिँ आफ्नो जीवनमा भनौँ न जति पनि बाधा आए तापनि उसले गर्नुपर्ने आफूले प्रगति उन्नतिशील काममा कहिले पनि पछाडि हटेन भन्ने कुरुपनी God uh, opens the door of opportunity in his due time. We need to remain calm in the Lord. Very good, brother. Very good. Good understanding. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> the next question. So, what should be the rule of uh, new creation regarding money matters? Like, for example, um, uh, if he had taken uh, uh, a loan, So, what is the procedure that uh, as new creatures we can follow? You see, anybody uh, who has not answered, uh, uh, Gopal brother. Uh, we can take uh, the advantages that government has given to us. And uh, uh, so, and uh, we have to pay as soon as possible. very good so that's a good uh, uh, thing see whenever uh, we have fallen into debt uh, we should always try to make uh, as much of benefit as possible from that is available from the law and uh, if you read in the first volume uh, one of the chapter that is mentioned in the first volume is a uh, bible is a divine revelation brother russell tries to prove that the bible is a divine revelation and if you see the majority of the world's constitution which is completely framed upon the law that is given in the bible the old testament so the governments of this world while they have used many of the law which is available in the bible you see for the betterment of the people so in such cases uh, there is nothing wrong if we utilize some of the benefits uh, we see that are available uh, uh, in the government uh, like for example uh, in india uh, we have a pension scheme you see for uh, uh, senior citizens anybody who was crossed at the age of 65 years old you see they will be given 2000 rupee pension uh, even as they remaining in home so so this advantage uh, You see, so you can take this advantage. And in India, there is also a rule. If anybody is living above 80 years, his entire expenditure of a, a medical expenditure will be totally taken care of the government. You see, they will be taken care, not only in government hospital, they will be treated well in the private hospital. Their entire expenses uh, will be taken care by the government. So this is the provision. This is the benefit. So... as new creatures uh, there is nothing wrong in uh, utilizing this uh, this benefits so these are the examples good okay now we shall continue this week uh, so this week uh, study is from uh, page number uh, 566 uh, uh, second paragraph okay now uh, uh, sister munna can you read the paragraph sister Okay, brother. A scriptural precedent for such a course is found in the law given to typical Israel respecting remission of debts on the seventh year Sabbath and a still fuller remission of all obligation on the fiftieth year of Jubilee. The world has recognize the wisdom of those divine arrangements and the many nation have confirmed them in their civil law new creature taking advantage of this earthly arrangement 
in accord with the divine will, may feel restful as a respect such debts, unless in the providence of God they should subsequently be blessed with an abundance. When undoubtedly the golden rule would dictate to them the propriety of paying of all indebtedness, regardless of its extinguishment under the law. Very good, very good. So here, you see, in this paragraph, our brother gives a beautiful example of one of the law which was given to the people of Israel. You see, the people of Israel were given almost nearly 606 laws. A little bit more than that one also. But uh, one of the super law was that uh, a man should work for six days and on the seventh day he should take rest. So there was a sabbatic day. So similarly there was a sabbatic year also. The land was supposed to be tilled and cultivated for uh, six years. But on the seventh year, the land was supposed to take rest. You see, this was actually the law given uh, you see, to the people of Israel. And additional to this, God had made one more law. You see, there's a law of the Jubilee. You multiply seven years, seven sabbatic years into seven sabbatic years you will get 49 years. So after the 49 years, the 50th year that comes was considered as the Jubilee. You see, that is the only Jubilee that is mentioned in the Bible. We have studied a little bit of the Jubilee in our basic class. <clears throat> Hope you all remember. Today in the world, we have Silver Jubilee, Golden Jubilee, Diamond Jubilee, Platinum Jubilee. See, none of the jubilees are actually mentioned in the Bible. But these are copied <coughs> by the world. So, for when did they copy? You see, they copied it from the scriptures, from the Bible, from the word of God. You see? So, where did I get the idea of jubilee? It is nowhere mentioned in any of the religion or any of the sect. It is only mentioned in the Bible. <coughs> so, in this Jubilee law, there was a beautiful blessing that was given to the people of Israel. You see, when the 50th year came, what all loan was, uh, you see, taken or given, was completely, totally forgiven. So no one was supposed to return anything. You see, no one was supposed to pay back anything. So whatever they had lent, uh, whatever they had given actually, you see, we were supposed to return to the original master. You see, that was a wonderful law which God had uh, given uh, to Israel. Why? Because God wanted the entire people of Israel to remain equal. God did not want one person to be <coughs> rich, one person to be poor. But he wanted all the men to be equal. Uh, you see? So, hence, you see, this law of Jubilee was a good thing. You see, by end of the Jubilee, everybody were equal. You see, and the same laws have been copied by so many, you see, constitutions in this world, in the civil laws. You see, they celebrate Jubilee, but you know, the people are very clever. You see, by every 50 years, if they need to return back everything back, then it will be a problem. You see, hence they have taken only the Jubilee as a celebration, just taken the point to celebrate. But they completely forgot the giving of the law. You see, the giving and forgiving everything. You see, so if there is any such case, if there is any such clause in the government or in our law, it is always advised by the new creature to use it. Or else, if there is a God's providential care is there, if God should improve the situations, you see, and God would definitely bless us in such a way that we can repay the debt. You see, it is better that we repay. You see, so we might wonder whether God would allow such things in our life. Yes, definitely God would allow such things in our life. You see, 
there are many examples in the bible where rich god children became poor you see they completely lost everything they became uh, totally poor you see but again when uh, they sought god you see god did not leave them god blessed them you see like uh, example if you take the example of job job was a wealthy person you see but he lost everything you see that was a test for him but again god restored him to everything double so until god's providence you see care is there uh, we need to wait upon the lord okay uh, so let us read the next paragraph next paragraph uh, brother uh, gopal uh, gopal no brother joel joel brother can you read okay brother <clears throat> if however the debt were not a business one but an obligation of friendship a loan of money or credit on which the friend ex expected and received no gain or profit. The case would be a totally different one. Such a debt should be considered as continuing so long as life would last and endeavors to make it good should always have important bearing upon the affairs of the debtor. But as before pointed out, after becoming a member of the new creatures, new creation under guidance of the Holy Spirit and its word, the scriptures, and under the direction of the spirit, spirit of a sound mind, none of the new creation should become debtors, but should, should consider it the Lord's providence that they live quite within their income this injunction to owe no man anything would not necess necessarily apply to the placing of a mortgage upon one's property for uh, supposedly a less amount than its real value this would not be borrowing in the forbidden sense but merely the making of a temporary sale of proportion of the equity involved, holding the opportunity to redeem it again. Okay. Here in this paragraph, uh, there is other type of uh, loan that is mentioned. You see, and this loan is not a business loan. See, last week what you studied was a business loan. See, we have taken a loan for a purpose of business. You see, so lender, he knows uh, the risk uh, that is uh, involved while giving the money. That the uh, person who is borrowing the amount is going to invest in some business. Only if he gets profit, uh, will the re repayment happen. But uh, if the investment is not proper, if it doesn't make profit, uh, the lender should know the heavy risk uh, of losing his capital amount. Uh, so, but here, this is another case <clears throat> because uh, normally we don't, uh, you see, as Bible students, uh, especially, we don't, uh, majority of the Bible students involve themselves in uh, a business type of loans because we don't do business, especially the brother, and you, you're all, uh, none of them are into business, uh, you see, and such great business where we can take loan also. Okay, but there is a other, uh, you see, a type of loan which you take, uh, you see, that uh, depends upon our friendship, uh, our relationship. Uh, you see, we take little bit of money from our friends. Uh, we take little bit of loan from our relatives, uh, family members. So, how do we end this one? See, generally, <clears throat> okay, is if there is any critical situation, uh, I'll give you an example. That's all. Just using these terms, for example... Okay, uh, Brother Gopal, may task, Brother Joel, Brother, please give me 5,000. I'll give you it back after a few days. So, if the Joel gives, he will be giving it totally without interest, uh, only upon the condition of his friendship, long-term relationship of Brother Gopal. You see, that's a free lent amount. So, similarly, such type of loans, usually many of the people take in day-to-day, affairs you see so these loans are completely interest-free loans 
this is based on a friendship this is no gain no profit you see nothing so in this case what we should do if you are not able to pay those loans what we should do the first advice is that this will be a lifelong commitment why lifelong commitment because the person who has lent the money is lent it off uh, on a basis of uh, trust a trust of friendship a trust of a family member a trust uh, of uh, any other thing the confidence so it's a lifelong process that uh, is a uh, that you should not lose that confidence you see like for example if i if i have taken a loan from uh, you i should try to repay it as much as possible as early as possible but if i am not able to pay to you you see uh, how it will impact our relationships we all know very well you see certain bit of days will happen so then what will happen every time we come and meet you see the same thought will come oh this person has taken something so he has to lend me is not returned to me so unnecessary these thoughts uh, will uh, keep on disturbing the new creation so hence uh, our brother says this is a lifelong commitment uh, you see instead of going to all these disturbances in our mind and spoiling our consecrated life we should try to you see pay as early as possible this is the first advice okay second advice what brother russell says in this uh, paragraph is that first of all don't take you see you try to live within your means even though it's a problem even though it is a pain leave it no problem try to adjust in whatever you have <coughs> and the third case third advice our brother gives us that <clears throat> third case if you are not able to pay the money <clears throat> if you have got something as mortgage okay you if you can give it as a mortgage and based on that one you can try to clear your loan you see uh so that's the third uh, advice uh, mortgage of something whatever we have <coughs> i don't know about in nepal but in india there are a lot of uh, such uh, you see shops in india they are called as pawn brokers so pawn brokers means what if somebody is in critical situation you see even in the night or any such emergencies if they go to the shop they pledge some of a property it might be gold you see it might be your uh, fixed deposit receipts <clears throat> or else it might be your share you see investment uh, documents <clears throat> or else it might be your house property documents even it may be your rented house documents also if you go and pledge it <clears throat> they will give a certain bit of amount uh, based on their uh, you see understanding uh, so that would be the third option it is not there is not a better option but if there is no other option that would be one of the reasonable ways to clear our loan is instead of uh, you see keep on uh, asking from other people whatever means we have if we can pledge it you see if we can pledge it for some period of time you see where uh, we get some uh, uh, time period to do the little bit of savings and clear off <clears throat> that is also a good advice okay so next paragraph next paragraph uh, uh brother gopal can you read brother gopal brother okay brother uh widows and orphans are not responsible for the debts of the former head of the family neither according to a human nor divine law goods sold to a husband or father are sold on his own responsibility and honesty and others cannot be held for his debts except as they make themselves personally responsible by direct or implied agreement his debts had a prior line upon his estate except the family's portion reserved by law but there at his death the matter matter ends unless 
some members of the family voluntarily assumes the obligations. We mention this because we have learned of instances in which poor widows and orphans have felt themselves obligated by divine, if not by human law, to pay the debts of the husband and father and have been kept in distress for years in devouring so to do. Mm -hmm. So here, other type of loan is given. And the loan uh, which uh, is a burden upon widows and orphans. You see? So this is the major type of uh, loan that is uh, entirely, completely eclipsed upon the world. Wherever you go, whoever has lent money in critical situations, it is all, you see, burden upon the widows and orphans. You see? <clears throat> Just to clear these loans which their father has done, the entire family will keep on suffering, keep on working, you see, for nearly 10 to 15 years uh, until you get old. That is the situation, you see, in the world, dear Budren. You see, now at least the bank is there. But in India and all, if you see, the private lenders, they lend amount. You know, what is the rate of interest they charge? They charge 10% per month. You see, if you take 10,000, on the spot, you'll deduct uh, 10,000. Uh, on the spot, you'll deduct 1,000 rupees from the 10,000 and give you 9,000 each and every month on an exact date. Uh, you see, that amount should be paid. It's such type of loans, uh, usually, it's, uh, it's taken by the family head uh, for various reasons. Uh, and as soon as the person dies, uh, what happens? Uh, the entire burden comes upon the family. You see, as a father or a responsible person, you wouldn't be uh, sharing all these matters uh, to the family so that uh, they might not be disturbed. That was one of the good intentions of the family head. Try to maintain it secretly and try to improve the situation so that you can clear the loans. But, uh, you see, if that doesn't happen, for some of the causes, uh, if uh, the head of the family, if the husband dies, uh, then automatically the burden will be upon which person? You see, it will be upon the wife uh, and the children. So first of all, they would be in a depressed situation because they lost husband. She has become a widow. And the children have lost parents. Uh, and the love, the affection, the entire responsibility suddenly comes and falls upon the head. You see, it's a very difficult situation. Brother Russell gives a beautiful example there. You see, how to handle such situations. Uh, you see, um, and Brother Russell also tells uh, why I'm covering this point in this paragraph is because majority of the brethren are under such burden. Uh, you see, even in India also, dear brethren, many of the brethren, you see, are suffering because of these, uh, you see, types of uh, loan that are taken by the head of the family. And later on, if they expire, suddenly all the people come and stand in the queue. You see, uh, and uh, try to tell, oh, I have lent him so much, I have lent him so much, I have lent him so much. And try to squeeze as much money as possible. <clears throat> and there will be no proof of it. Uh. You see, it's just a conscience. Uh. So in that situation, what we should do? You see, should we pay those debts? Uh, or also should we, should we stand for it? Uh, that because our husband has done this one, okay, I'll accept letter, I'll accept it, all these things, and take a burden upon themselves. You see, Brother Russell tells, you should never take that burden. Please clearly note this point and keep it in your mind. Never take the burden of somebody's person on your head, though it might be your husband. If a husband or a wife, <coughs> they have committed this uh, loan with, uh, you see, uh, with interaction with each other, with mutual understanding of each other, then they have to pay. Or else, uh, if the family is totally ignorant, <clears throat> they have taken loan. The wife is definitely not responsible for such loans at all. Neither the children. Uh, they are totally ignorant, uh, you see. So, those things can never be taken care. You should never take it upon your head. You see, though it might be in a law or uh, the law, it might be in a divine law 
or the law of the government at any cost as new creatures you should never take that risk you see that is this is really wonderful advice that that has to be implemented if any of the brethren comes to such stage the brethren or else what will happen you know you see parents should have done something wrong and all you see they would have taken some money there is no record of it no knowledge of it you see the principal will be 10000 but the interest itself would have grown up to only more than 20 20 30000 that's possibilities are there so after is that simply this lender would come and keep on pestering the family disturb the family you see you know once uh, jesus rebuked uh, such type of practices in israel you know <coughs> matthew 23 the people of israel in people of israel you see hmm, one minute okay matthew 23 14 brother uh, amar can you read or sister romi can you read widows house and for a pretense pretense make long prayers therefore he shall receive the greater uh, damnation damnation okay so here jesus is actually rebuking the pharisees and the scribes <clears throat> for what purpose for uh, devouring the widows house uh, you know they were so <clears throat> careful this the scribes and the pharisees and sadducees whenever the head of the family fell sick uh, they would come to their house uh, just to show that they are very humble they very concerned about their family and do prayer and all and go <clears throat> and uh, if the head of the family is sick uh, they will be bedridden so nobody will be able to you see, help them financially so these persons will come and give them you see little bit of money to help them <clears throat> you see and what is the purpose of giving the money you see the purpose of lending some money to the family is that uh, they were waiting actually for the head of the family to die once uh, if the head of the family dies immediately these persons will come uh, you see telling uh, we had given such and such amount uh, uh, and uh, interest has gone up to such and such way so ultimately those things has to be cleared do you remember that day when we came to your house we also offered some amount in front of you so that is also included you see so just to pretend you see just to pretend that they were very holy we were very concerned you see they tried to take out and squeeze out the entire property of the dead man's family <coughs> you see if was jesus if if it was just a house that was available they would tell oh don't worry you are become a widow you have nothing to pay okay you have this home we will take this home don't worry you be very free you please vacate this house you go somewhere and seek a job so all these things uh, they used to do but uh, nobody used to come to know outside what was the inner real matter and jesus rebukes them saying uh, it is just strongly for a pretense a pretense means what a pretending you are pretending to be very holy you are pretending to be very concerned about the widow and uh, orphans but actually that is not the real intention at all you are more concerned about taking their property <laughs> you see this was actually done in israel uh, you see and uh, what did uh, james say you see which uh, what is the religion 
See, in such situations, what should actually be the God's children's behavior? Book of James, first chapter, mm -hmm. verse 27. James 127. Uh, Amar brother, can you read James 127? <clears throat> One second, brother, the verse. James, first chapter, verse 27. Pure religions and on on the field before God and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and the widows in their uh epic son and to keep himself uh unspotted from the world. Mm -hmm. So what is real religion? Religion is himself. You see, if you claim to be Christians, the first advice that you should visit the widows, orphans. You see, and really care for them. But in Israel, it was being done only for a, you see, pretending, only as a drama, as acting. They wanted to excuse as much as possible. To be and why God tells like this one? Because Bible says, <clears throat> those who are widows and orphans, you see, God is the father for them if anybody touches them, God would never keep quiet. See, therefore, you see, Brother Russell says, you see, the wife is never responsible for the loan that the husband has taken without their notice. You see, nobody of the children, <clears throat> nobody of the wife can be held responsible. But during such time, what we should do? They should stand for the cause. Boldly stand and answer, we are not given any guarantee. We are not given any surety. Neither they consulted us. Is there any uh, guarantee or agreement between both of you that uh, as my uh, husband return and given to you, whether the I should pay, whether the family should pay after his death? Uh, if there is any such proof, uh, you see, those things has to be, you see, asked for. Those things has to be bargained for. At that moment, dear brethren, you see, the sisters or the children should stand for it. Or else, unnecessary, <coughs> you see, the conscience will keep on pricking. Oh, my husband has done that one. I am telling like this one is wrong. This is violating my uh, covenant with God. No, no, no at all. There should be proof for it. A genuine proof. Because the world today is full of fake. Easily one person dies, they will come and ask, oh, this much amount has to come to me, please give me. Everybody will come to ask. But at that moment, you see, the sisters and the children should be very bold. They should stand and tell they are not at all responsible. But uh, if somebody wants to take the responsibility, they are at liberty. If husband dies, if the wife, uh, if she wants to take the responsibility, okay, I will clear it. She is at liberty to clear it. But that's not a wise decision as a consecrated child of God. <clears throat> Why? Because the talents which God has given us, you see, all the things are of the Lord. And among one of the talent is the wealth. You see, the wealth which God has given us, the amount which he has blessed us, that is his talent. So we need to give account to each and every pie we spent. How much you're going to spend, which way you're going to spend. Just because you have money, you're going to just lavishly spend. How is it? All these things are accountable, dear brother. And okay. So <clears throat> that is the reason, brother Russell gives advice that uh, <coughs> if the parents die, the children are not, not responsible. If the husband dies, the wife is not responsible at all. Okay, next paragraph. Next paragraph. Uh, okay, but Ashish, can you read? It's a quite big. Uh, okay. The Lord's counsel to his people on the other side 
of the question is equally explicit. If they see their brethren have need, they are to do good and to lend, hoping for nothing again, without thought of gaining similar or other favors in return. We must, however, understand this injunction to lend to a brother in harmony with the other injunction that we should not borrow. And hence, the implication would be that the brother possessed means and would be able to repay or that temporarily he had need and was able to give some kind of, of a mortgage or security to the one lending. But such lending to assist a brother in necessity should be done freely and without hope of reward, without stipulating for interest or usury, but merely for the return of principal within the specific time. It should be purely an accommodation and express expression of brotherly love. Okay, thank you, brother. <clears throat> see, in this paragraph, uh, there is other type of, uh, you see, uh, Lord's Council. What is that one? Let us read Luke 6 chapter, verse uh, 35. Luke 6, uh, uh, 34 and 35. Uh, Romy sister, can you read Luke 6, 34 and 35? Okay, brother. And if he lend to them of whom he hope to receive, what, what thank have he? For a sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much as I can. Ah, you see? Jesus gives advice, if you are lending something to somebody, you see, to whom we should lend it seems. Uh, generally in the world, whom do they lend money? You see, they lend to those persons who can repay. You see, nobody will give loan to anybody who doesn't pay. You see, the we get so many calls to, in the, from the bank. Uh, Oh, we are for calling from so and so blank. Uh, would you like to uh, have a, a personal loan, home loan? You see, education loan. Please tell us. Uh, why don't they call the beggars of this world? Uh? Why don't they call the poor of this world? Uh? Nobody calls them now. Why? You see, because this is the thing they follow. <clears throat> they lend where they can get benefit. Uh. You see, that is the trend of the world. But what about the? God's children. What about the Bible students? What we should do? Hmm. But love but, hmm. your enemies and do, do good and lend, hoping for no, nothing again. And your reward shall be great and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. So whom should we lend it seems? See, our advice from the scriptures is that when we lend, we should never expect anything back. Okay. Then what, brother? If somebody asks for 10 lakhs rupees, should I give it? <laughs> if you have 10 lakhs rupees, if you, have, if you can give it, definitely give it. But if we are giving it... We should never, you see, give it in an intention that uh, I will get it back, that you should definitely pay it back to me. Never do such thing. Uh, because what will happen now? Usually, if somebody is taking money, <laughs> that means that uh, that's a sure that he's in some problem. He might be in some other problem which we don't know. Uh, if he could not adjust a little bit of amount also, that's an understanding that... Uh, is definitely into some critical problem. At that moment, you see, it's really a foolish thing to expect something from him written. You see, so wisest thing is that we should try to help him whatever is possible from us, not whatever he asks from us. You see, whatever is possible, whatever is really wise, and whatever is reasonable, that one we should try to help him. With what intention? With the intention that you should never get it back. You see, but that is not to be expressed to the person whom how many amount is given. 
brother please keep it no need to return back no need to tell those words because while telling the reason the next paragraph brother russell tells you the reason also so better way is that lend expecting nothing in that way what will happen your mind will be free or else if you keep on expecting something if you if the brother keeps on passing before you each and every time what will happen immediately the thought the money matter will come to your mind it will keep on disturbing us so the advice from the scripture is that uh, you see if a brother is uh, borrowing that is a point that he is in some trouble <clears throat> if he is in trouble it is the responsibility of the brethren to help them you see but not expecting anything in return if i give this one i'll get something else oh that way i can manage oh, mutual uh, you see mutual understanding you see take this give me that one no nothing should be expected with a liberal mind <clears throat> you see you should lend that one and moreover if the person who is asking for the loan if he's got some good property or what do you say good assets <clears throat> where, where he can mortgage also for the amount that is requested the brethren should never accept those mortgage receipts to them like for example brother i'll give you my mobile please pay from 5000 rupees for my mobile i can i'll repay back you see oh okay brother please give me the mobile i'll keep it by myself whenever you give me back i'll give my back my mobile that is not the dealing of the new creation sir you see we are all called to be christ likeness to so these experiences are permitted in our life to show our character you see so when will we show our character when we fall into trouble only no we'll show our character when other persons are falling into trouble when they approach us that is a test permitted by the lord to see how do we react what's our reaction how fruits of the holy spirit are developed in us so that moment a mortgage of anything any assets is not to be expected you see no reward from any person you see should be expected you see in return if they return in case if they are returning you see only a principal amount has to be huh? you see expected if they are return if they are willing to return if they come to return you see only the principal amount you see that has to be taken not no interest nothing at any cost those things has to be avoided you see dev then it's a wonderful advice <clears throat> see if these things are implemented you see our life will be very yeah, useful and very beautiful we would be a good example among the brethren just giving for loan you see for interest just getting our mind disturbed this is all not part of the new creation at all why why should we help the poor you see uh, there is a scripture in proverbs uh, <clears throat> proverbs mm, he that uh, lendeth to the poor lendeth to the almighty do you remember one verse mm. proverbs 19:17 can anybody read proverbs 19:17 amma brother na ah, okay okay jol brother read he that had pity upon the poor lend it unto the lord and that which he had given will he pay him again okay so he that lend it to the poor is actually lending the money to whom tell me is lending the money to whom to the lord to the lord so who will pay back if we give it to god will god give us back or not he will give he will give yes. you see you know what is the rate of interest which god gives any idea what is the rate of interest which god gives what is the interest uh, as per the bible if you if you going to charge interest 
what is the interest you see what is the thing that you should add as interest you see for the principle about what is the rule as per the law any idea okay romi sister read numbers 57 <coughs> numbers fifth chapter 7th fifth chapter 7th verse ah huh? then they shall confess their sin which they have done and he shall uh, re recompense his uh, tripes with the principal thereof and add on on to the fifth part thereof and give it unto them against whom he had uh, tri tripes yes <coughs> see trespass okay okay so uh, next time try to uh, maintain any uh, simple english bible also nav that would be very good for your understanding okay so here it says <coughs> if anybody has committed a mistake this is speaking about the money matter because if you need to repay him god tells you had a fifth part what is the fifth part if you divide 100 into five parts you see the one part the fifth part is 20% you see so god tells you pay 20% interest that is the interest which god calculates imagine if he lent to the poor <coughs> you see god repays us back Now, how will God repay us back? Will He give us empty-handed? No. The Bible says, uh, "You see that God will add twenty percent." Then that is uh, the blessings of God. Not literally, God will uh, you see bless us with money matters, but uh, God will surely take care of uh, our earthly needs in such a way that we'd be lenders. Last week, remember now we read now, if we are obedient to God's words, what will God do? god will make us as lenders not borrowers okay so based on this uh, verses and based on luke always for the brethren we should lend expecting nothing back then uh, brother if brother comes and ask me to give 10 lakhs you see uh, though i have it yeah but it is not in my limit to give it i have it it's not a issue i have it but i can't give it there are some obligations in that situation what to do that we will cover next week okay so how much to lend what to lend you see if somebody some people will be there they will only only keep on you see uh, coming for money they will only keep on squeezing for money to so those brethren their brothers only you see how how careful we need to be how to handle the situation what is the extent of lending without uh, expecting anything so that will be study next week okay anybody any questions any doubts <clears throat> romi sister amar brother any questions no question brother good amar brother No question, brother. Okay, Joel, brother. No question, brother. Munna, sister. Question, brother. Okay, Gopal, brother. Nashish, brother. No, no, brother. Uh, Thank you, brother. I was uh, quite uh, curious about the shop you mentioned. The uh, shops in India, which uh, gives you. Supported instant if you provide some collaterals and even it opens at night. Do you mean it is uh, some kind of uh, cooperative, small cooperatives, or bank and financial institution, or uh, normal shops? Normal shops, sir. There are so many Marwadi shops on the road. Uh, the government has actually given the rights for them. They, this are those are called as pawn brokers. So even if you mm. go and give a mobile, they give the amount. Even if you go and give a bike, they'll give the amount. So. But their interest rate will be very huge. It will be 
per month it will be 10 percent 12 percent so such it will be normal shops normal normal shops normal shops means particularly meant for those particular lending the money mm. and they will they, they will give instant cash instantly spot on the spot mm. those, those, those are called as marwadis yes these people who does those business especially they are marwadis they are these these are the people in of rajasthan and gujarat these people are completely majority of them not every of them majority of them they do this business mm -hmm. okay. hmm. but uh, nowadays uh, the situations are quite changed uh, because the knowledge has increased a lot of banks are lending loans <clears throat> so and these people have understood uh, uh, the problem uh, going for these lenders how much uh, they will be repaying uh, it will be more than the principal so those business has come down compared to uh, previous year and all the pawn pawn brokers the pawn is it's an english word or a... it's english word p a w n okay okay but hmm. it's completely new uh, for nepal we don't have such kind of serves Oh, when I was childhood, uh, I was fed up with these pawn brokers. Because our family, we used to have a lot of trouble. We should have a lot of problem. So I used to visit them. So interest upon interest, interest upon interest. Ultimately, we lost everything. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have good experience uh, regarding these things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Or we'll like, uh, stop with a word of prayer. Let's conclude brother okay then uh, who can offer a prayer last prayer who can do amar brother amar tamro ha amar brother can do in nepal samsam prarthana karo amar mahan amar mahan parmeshwar pita hai mai tapai dhanyawad dena chahunchu aaj tapai le जी